The ultimate goal of model-based systems engineering is to specify a system in a single unified digital model. But this is a challenge because many different software tools are used in system development, and system data is stored in many different models and repositories. One approach is to build a graph, a network of elements and edges that connect them. Sendea, the MBSE platform from Intercax, creates, manages, and displays such a graph. Since Sendea was introduced in 2014, Interfaces to a wide variety of engineering software tools have been introduced. In this video, we will look at the interface between SysML models in MagicDraw or IBM Rational Rhapsody and Simulink Stateflow from the MathWorks. When we describe an interface between two tools, it is important to focus on the use cases supported. In other words, what can we do with the connection? Our primary interest here is in model transform. For example, a system engineer specifying desired system behavior with a SysML state machine wants to create an equivalent model in state flow for detailed simulation. Alternatively, the behavior model may start in state flow but need to be incorporated into the system architecture model in SysML. Since one or both models may change as the system development proceeds, we need to be able to compare and update them on an ongoing basis to maintain consistency. Let's demonstrate how Sendea supports these use cases. We're going to start off with a magic draw state machine diagram and transform that, push that into Simulink state flow. So looking at a state machine diagram in magic draw, in this case, or specifically Cameo system modeler, we can see that we have four different states and launching the Sendea dashboard. We go down and we find that state machine model within that, that state machine, flight states. And we're going to drag that into an empty package on my local file system, which is called one demo state flow, and use this model transformation drag and drop operation to be able to take flight states over and drag it into the demo package and confirm that we want to do that. And now we're going to wait for a few moments and see that ultimately on the left side here, we have created a Simulink model called Flight States. And as we go ahead and expand that, that it contains a state flow symbol, which contains the state machine and the various states and transitions. So that's now been created on the Simulink side. Now we could launch MATLAB and Simulink and state flow as normal to look at that, but we also have the capability with Sandea to be able to go to the SysML element that's linked to that model and open MATLAB and launch that model from there. And so that's what we're going to do. We've gone down to that flight states on the left-hand side of the dashboard, and we're going to go down to open connected artifacts. And this will allow us to launch MATLAB from the Magic Draw Sendea interface and go directly to that particular model. So again, we launch MATLAB, we call up the specific model of interest, and there's the flight states symbol. If we double click on that, we'll open that. And we can see here are the states and transitions that have been transferred over from the SysML model. And we'll fast forward and rearrange the various transitions from the default layout condition uh, to be able to show how the patterns of the transitions are the same and the states are the same as in the original SysML model. The difficulty over time is that one or both of these models is likely to change. We need to be able to recognize those changes and then we need to be able to reconcile them. So in this particular case, we're going to modify the SysML model again, creating a new state. We'll call that pending. And we're going to change the transitions so that this outgoing transition from autonomous landing is transferred to pending. The incoming transition into manual flight is what puts us into the pending. But we'll add a new transition from pending back to manual flight which will ultimately be triggered by some kind of a confirmation signal from the ground station. Now we've made all of those changes to the SysML model, 
But again, the Simulink model side has not been changed. We will find that same connection to the flight states. And first of all, we will simply look for the changes, the differences, by doing a comparison between the models. And that brings us up to the difference table. Now it turns out here there's changes in both the states because we've added a new state and in the transitions. When we moved the destination or target of a transition, we have essentially done a deletion of one transition and the creation of a new one. So in this particular case, we've got one new state pending on the SysML side that we don't see on the target side. And we've got two deleted transitions and three new transitions on the SysML side that don't match up with the Simulink state flow model. So again, we can do an update here. We can sync SysML to target. And if we return to the state flow model and open it up, we can see that the new states, including the pending state at the bottom, and the new transitions have been created in the state flow model automatically. Again, we'll fast forward through some of the uh, rearrangement of the states and the transitions and see that the new model of the state machine, again, corresponds with the old one. To learn more about the latest features of the Sendea state flow interface and the other kinds of model connections it supports, visit our website at intercax.com or request an evaluation license. Zendaya's use cases and interfaces are customer-driven. Contact us and let us know your requirements.